Google to the rescue once again. I have to admit that even though I use Google Scholar almost every day, I tend to forget about Google Books. Mostly this is because I'm usually searching for articles. Google Books can be found at books.google.com. You can search here, or you can look in the Google Play Store if you want to purchase and download a book to your tablet or phone. We're just going to search. I'm going to stick to my example of searching for cyberbullying. There, they brought that up, so we'll use that. Your search options in Google Books are pretty limited, but there are some. To get them, just click on the Search Tools link up here. You can see you can limit to books either with previews available, this means that you'll be able to see at least some of the full text, to Google eBooks or the free Google eBooks. The free one is really, really limited, so I would not base my search on that. You can also limit to books or magazines, generally. You just want to limit to books. You can limit by any time. I think it's hilarious that they allow you to limit by century. My guess is that this is very helpful for those researching historical concepts, but maybe not super helpful for those of us looking to limit to books published within the last five to ten years. You can get at this by selecting the custom range. So I'm going to say I want from 2010 to 2014. The last option is to sort either by relevance or by date. The way Google puts relevance at the top is that it goes through some sort of an algorithm to recognize which books are the best matches for the words that you've typed in. So we'll keep it at relevance for now. Let's click on the first book, Cyberbullying, Bullying in the Digital Age. This one does have a preview. It says it's got result 1 to 88. Generally that means there are about 88 pages that you can preview. This can either be spread throughout the text or sometimes it'll be the first couple of chapters. If you're really lucky, the part of the book you need is available. Hooray for you! There is other stuff going on in this screen as well. One of the really neat features of Google Books is you can actually search within the book by searching in this little search box here. So I'm going to just type in teachers. Maybe I'm interested in the role teachers play in cyberbullying, so I want to see if this is even mentioned in this particular book. Sometimes a preview is available and sometimes there's no preview available. To actually look at the preview, just click on the page and it will show you the page that mentions the word you typed in. If you click on the About This Book link, you can get the full details on this particular book, including all the citation information, some related books, a few selected pages, and so on. It will list here on the side My Library and My History. I don't have anything in my library just yet, but you can always browse through your history. To add things to a library, all you need to do is go up here to the top where it says add to my library then you can either add it as a favorite indicate that you're reading it now or it's something you want to read so I'm going to say to read so now that's in my library under my to read you can even go back and write a review of the book once you've read it finally over on the right hand side there actually is an advanced book search option you can only get to this search screen once you're in an individual book it doesn't seem to appear on the main search screen this is a bit weird, but at least now you know where to find it. A final note is that unlike Google Scholar, Google Books is not tied into the library's catalog, so you actually have to go back to our catalog and copy and paste the title in to see if we have it. It's an extra step, but not insurmountable. Also, if the ISU library does not have the book you need, we can always request it from another library. And while Google Books isn't a perfect search tool, it certainly can help you expand your search, especially if the ISU library does not own books on your research topic.